Hi Slimming Worlders, how's your week been? I've done okay, I've lost a pound and a half this week, so really pleased about that. Back again, back in the right direction as it were. Um, my husband on the other hand is struggling a bit and he's put on four this week, which is a bit of a shock for him. Um, I'm sure he'll be fine, um, we all go through it, we all sort of um, go through phases where uh, we struggle and we eat things we shouldn't and well it's not that we shouldn't eat them we shouldn't really say that um it's just that perhaps we uh don't we, what we're eating we're not keeping an eye on and not checking sins that's more what we should be saying we shouldn't really be saying uh shouldn't eat because that's kind of uh you know self-sabotaging as it were um so yeah things have been a bit um difficult for him he's got going through a bit of a rough patch with slimming but i'm sure he'll be okay once he gets through it i mean things like this it's so easy when you when you find you're struggling to lose weight it's so easy to think sod it give up i need a break blah blah but i think if you plow through that and you uh i think if you go away and have a break there is kind of a risk that you will actually put on more and you've got more to lose when you start doing it again than uh, maybe just going and taking the weight gain on the chin and just, um, you know, letting your letting your mind write itself. You probably actually put on less doing that. I know it's like really disheartening to uh, go to the scales and say, oh, I've gained again. Or, you know, it is really disheartening, but just just keep going. Um, as eventually you will your brain will suddenly click black in place and you will be ready to carry on losing weight you know um what one thing i perhaps would suggest that if you if say like you what i find is like around a target if you if you're doing interim targets like i'm doing it um maybe if you're going for a bad patch and you've hit your interim target maybe just stay at that interim target for a bit don't decide oh, i'm going to lose some more weight just until you get your mind straight and your mind's back ready to for losing weight again that's kind of what i what i'd say just stay at that stay at that level and then when you're ready just go on a bit further you know um yeah me pound and a half off so really really pleased but i'm just a bit worried that um it's going to be sort of the opposite next week because I've my cycle started, you know, my star week. So I'm just a little bit worried that, uh, you know, whatever I do is, uh, you know, it is not quite going to going to uh, accomplish what I what I want to accomplish so I'm kind of hoping for a maintain this week that that would be that would be enough for me. Um, what I have been trying out because some um, um sort of cheaper alternatives to the hi-fi bars i do like the hi-fi bars and we do use them a lot um but i'd like to sort of find some cheaper alternatives um i've been sort of trying out some of these um these are the fiber one um this is the first one i've tried uh, they are incredibly expensive a part of like, like 250 for five in most of the supermarkets apart from asda at the moment who are doing them for i think it's 150 half as bad but two bloody 50 for five little bars a bit much um when trying them yeah they're really nice um but are they worth 250 um you know for a little bit of a I mean, they're quite strongly flavored so they've got a really nice flavor of chocolate in them and they're really really nice but 250 now nah, no nah, forget it um buy them on deal at asda at the moment they're only 150 um i mean even that to me is a bit you know <laughs> um but i've also been trying some asda equivalents which is this one of them is this one that i've tried uh over the past week oops upside down <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Asda Chocolate Brownie Fibre Bar, and it is 88 calories, which works out to be four sins. So, pretty much the same as one of these, except five of these will cost you 125. And at the moment in Asda, five of these will cost you 150. Normally, they're 250. So, think about, mm, yeah. And to be honest, I didn't really see much different in these. These were really, I mean, they're not a cake bar. They're a brownie bar. Um, I didn't think they were um, less valuable or um, anything like that. I don't think you missed out on anything. Probably a little less sweet, but that's not a bad thing. 
Um, so yeah, I would plump for these every time if um, it was a choice between um, the fibre ones and the Asda fibre, uh, definitely. Uh, also, I think they're, um, which I haven't tried yet, they're sort of Alpen equivalent bars. They're only like 84p and two of them is a healthy extra so i'm going to give those a try in a couple of weeks time there's also got some new shape ones but when i looked them up on um slimming world app they don't appear to be on there yet so whether they're new but they're like two pound a box and these other ones are, are um you know are only 84p a box so um i'd like to see what the sim value is of, of the shape of ones if anybody knows then let me know because I'm not spending two quid on something that's going to be the same amount of sins as something that is 84p, you know. <laughs> Come on. Um, I think, you know, a lot of the time, um, you know, especially if you're on a budget, I think the slimming stuff, uh, it, it, the, the prices are really unreasonably whacked up. I mean, we should be encouraging people to lose weight. And I think if you're whacking these slimming, um, you know, treat bars and things like that, if you're whacking them up to a high price, you're not exactly encouraging people to lose weight. Um, people are more likely to plump for them if perhaps they're a lower price. I mean, for goodness sake, we've got less sugar in them, less sort of naught in them. So why are we paying more for less? Mm, good one, you know, marketing and everything else. Um... But, um, you know, that's one of my bugbears. Um, I'm sort of looking at, um, you know, a lot of these branded items and things like that. And, and one of the things I've noticed with uh, shopping online as well is that supermarkets don't necessarily put their cheapest items on the um on the on the on the websites if you want the you know, there's a lot more of the value stuff and uh that, that kind of thing, the lowest price stuff, you will actually find if you go to the supermarket, which is all well and good if you've got, but if you're like us, we haven't got a car and we're reliant on public transport or taxis or or whatever, it makes it really, really difficult to get the cheapest amount, cheapest items. And I really do think that that, you know, needs to change. I think the supermarkets need to put their cheapest things as well not just have um those sort of branded items or the most expensive items on online we we want the sort of more value items as well um because at the moment times are hard i mean my husband's had hardly any hours this week you know and we're trying to feed a family um so come on get those value items on your internet because some of us don't have cars especially you know the lower income people we don't have cars so we need to we need to order our food in so um because you know it's not always possible for uh me to go to a supermarket with, with a with a to, uh, like trolleys and uh, to um one teenager and one almost teenager who uh, wants to grab everything and cause as much havoc as possible um we kind of need um a bit of bit you know a bit more help please so um you know supermarkets let's get some more bargain stuff online so that you know we sell Anyway, I think that's my <laughs> rant for the day done. Uh, take care and uh, I'll see you soon. Hopefully, if I can get my kitchen tidy, my very, very teeny kitchen tidy at some point, I might actually show you a couple of my really sort of budgety recipes that I've made. I've really, um, okay, so you take care, speak to you soon, and uh, good luck with your weigh-in next week. Bye.